savory or sweet, anything is fine. As long as it's food, all of it is mine. You can say I'm overeating greedy or fat, but you all need food to live, so what's the point in that? Even when you're on a diet, you still need to eat fruits, veg, cut protein and Hello, meat. I'm Chen Hai, and this is my end of your art, which is gotten from this C-O-R-O-N-A, get it clear, that's a virus, it will kill us, it's like a curse, even more worse, there's no such thing as a reverse cases. Everything is fine. Pass the macaroni. You need to make sure you have your meals. Don't just skip them. They're a big deal. And please just don't start starving yourself. I know it's hard. Hey, what did you bring for snack break today? Oh, I got these delicious chocolate chip cookies. What did you bring, Diksha? It smells quite nice. Hey, why are you eating all these unhealthy biscuits? Yeah. Look what I made at FCE. We make chocolate chip, almond and oatmeal cookies. We even use dark chocolate for chocolate chips, so they are healthy for you. And oatmeal is healthy for you too, because they are high in fiber. Oh. You should try some. I did not expect healthy cookies to be this nice. Well, since it's COVID-19, I can't share with you guys, but you can smell it. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, it smells nice. It's my mask. Yes. Okay, today we are going to teach you how to make a healthy oatmeal and almond cookie. Now, the reason why it's healthier is because we make use of the raw oats. Okay, according to my healthy plate, remember, one corner of the plate says uh, brown rice and whole milk bread. So, your raw oat actually come under that section. So, over here, we have your sugar and your butter. So you will just cream it. Now remember, when you are creaming, always in one direction. Just mix the sugar together first. Now please don't do this. Uh. You are not creaming it. Okay? Put the bowl halfway and try and dissolve the sugar. Now how long do you cream your butter and your sugar? Until it is light and creamy, which means the colour of the butter is lighter. Okay, this is actually a way of introducing air into the mixture. Okay, today we are doing the 100 grams flour portion. Add in the egg, remember egg, knock it aside. The hole here, the thumb in between, this hand pull it this way, this hand pull it this way. Do not smash the egg. Okay, currently you can still see the butter is lumpy, but can you see the big bubbles here? That is because we have introduced air into the mixture. Okay, this is more or less done. You don't really see the lumps anymore. Uh, in baking, we try and use bigger eggs, usually about 60 grams. That's the standard size for eggs. So if you are buying the eggs that are like kampong size, the kampong eggs, they are slightly smaller. Or the newborn eggs are slightly smaller. Then you may need um, to add a little bit more of the eggs. Okay, add in the flour a little bit at a time. Same thing, same direction. And just stir it in. It's a good texture for your um, cookie it will be something like that. It will be a bit like ice cream like that. Okay, so cookies will be more like ice cream. Yeah, I'll take off the cookies. Here, for the nuts, we try to uh, roast it a little bit so that the fragrance uh, of the nut will be uh, brought forth. Right, but do let it cool for a while because it's very hot. Now let's go back to the mixture, we will add in the oats.
have for the cookie. So what you do is this. Okay, get a spoon. Now make sure you give a certain spacing in between because it will expand a little bit. Cooking mixture already, you can put a few of these almond nuts on top. Okay, wherever you put, make sure they are stuck to the dough so that it will not uh, fall off during baking. Wow, that was so funny. Indeed. Oh dear. Hi. I have some sad news. What is it? Sad news is, we've come to the final segment of the Aesthetics Week. What? So sad. That's right. To end off, here's some people we, could, we would like to thank. Roll credits, please. please. <laughs> <laughs>